And we're back for round two for the Southern Aggression on this Friday evening. Hope everybody had a nice Independence Day for the Americans, uh, Canada Day for the Canadians, uh, Election Day for the British, anybody that we got on, and uh, future Election Day for the French here this weekend. A lot of stuff going on this uh, couple of weeks here, but we got a war of rights here, and I talked a little politics last round, and I try not to talk too much this round. But, uh, you know, it is of interest to me. But anyway, so with this Union team, well, first off, we have a Conquest again. This is the second uh, map for the uh, Conquest uh, for the Southern Aggression. They haven't done this before. Worked pretty good last round. Very uh, tough map for the uh, CSA, but they've gotten a unit balanced over, so now it's 133 for the CSA versus 132 for the Union. Take a look at that Union team. So we got 20th Georgia under Hellhammer. Let's see here. we got 4th West Virginia under Lightburn. 79th under Ricks. Let's see. Let's we got, we've got MWB under Willie Stone. NYV under Parker. Ninth Corps led by Pruden. Captain Hood is leading the 42nd. And 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters is led by um, Major Brook. And then it looks like we got a decent amount of already. We got... Uh, Japan here from the MWB. Looks like we got some medical oh, services in uh, NYV. I didn't know that. Oh, he's marking. That's why. Okay. It's like I didn't know. I'm not service joined. Uh, talking, talking. But okay. Yeah, he's marking with them now. I understand. All right. Then we got Captain Schultz here leading Tyndall Battery, who's associated with the Second U.S. Sharpshooters. And we have on CSA we got Lexington from HD and Hankel from First VA, and off they go. Shooting some shots already. Let's take a look at the rest of the infantry. They are live. They got a bit of time before they hit the... They meet. So we've got Fort Georgia, led by 2nd Lieutenant Sauce here. Looks like CQB is also with them. Let's see, we got 1st VA, led by Cor Glow. Let's see. We got MSG here, under Slippin' Jimmy. Alright, let's see. We've got TB led by Major Knight and Captain Galfe. Mr. Goofy. And we got HL led by Major Wilkes. EB led by Bocephus. And HD led by Lieutenant Coach. Uh, SR is in here as well under Tar Gray. There they are. Uh, I found them. Let's see how we go. Both points are now captured, and the CSA already is starting to let loose. Okay, thanks, Hankel. I'm always a proponent, if the CSA isn't going to defend these guns, to uh, capture these guns and turn them on the uh, CSA. Because, why? Why would I do that? They have great overwatch here. You just got to flip them around here to the CSA point. I don't think you got that tree in the way, but you know where that point is. You can see it. Just land some shots right in there. Just gotta move the cannons over a little bit. A little bit. Just turn them right here. Start pounding that point. Anything else on these approaches coming up? But it looks like the CSA is. They're coming in from multiple directions here. Very wide front. Uh, the Union is looking to defend this uh, strong point here with their artillery here, and they've also got a very wide front here, so. Be curious to see how this goes.
Cops there. Of course, we uh, came up to uh, defend the Arnie position here. Very wise, kind of scared off these uh, these guys here from Second U.S. We got some additional help behind him, though. Who is this? Looks like MWB. Yep. Might be uh, trying to do a flank around and you know jump all the way towards A point. Meantime, looks like the CSA is still coming through these woods here. I like the approach. The Union kind of is aware of it, though, and they're set up here, waiting for them. We'll see how this fight goes. They might, um, if I was them, I might actually cut in a little bit early and uh, take the arty and then fight on this hill on the reverse slope here. Because then you put yourself between them and the point. But we'll see what they do. The point's looking nice and open right now. You got a secondary reserve element. Well, you got a couple. You got... Fort Georgia over here, got uh, HD over here. Meanwhile, for the U.S., for their reserve, uh, you got 9th Corps kind of at the front of the corn, and then a couple guys on. There we go. Here's the main fight, though. CSA needs to pull back. You're not going to punch through this. And you're not going to win a trade Keep volleys. Up, boys. Good volleys. Now, again, you know, you got some opportunities here. So, for example, um, now that 9th Corps has kind of moved off, HD has a great route to C point if they bypass. Um, these helmets over here, um, CQB and 1st VA, have done a good job of kind of stymieing this forward approach here by these Union elements here. So they've not been able to infiltrate back to A. Um, I think the big thing here is going to be HD. Now, I, I think they're making a mistake here, stopping and shooting. They should be making a play right for C point. There is nothing to stop them there, but they're going to waste time plunking at arm at Artie here, giving away their position and giving the opportunity for the Union to adjust on them. So huge mistake there by HD, in my opinion. It's like, oh, there's a fight over here. No, 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 no. It's all about the flag, man. Look, look in front of you. Is there anybody in front of you? No. Get into the corn. See if you can make it. Right now, look. There's nobody. There's two guys sitting on. Them. Stay here! Back. Back. That core here trying to stop the uh, TV. Also got AB in here. I don't think I mentioned 7 Tennessee. They're also in that fight as well. They don't have too many guys though. I think they're kind of just joining in. Kind of on an unofficial basis for today. They're usually in the event. But, uh, I didn't see him as a separate one. Seven on flag. Buck, buck. Hey. Buck, buck. Again, there's still nothing here to stop HD from decapping right now. Although now I think they're starting to get, you know, you got two US out here. They can't, they, they're not going to be able to stop them. Um, a little bit of NYV over here. Got pop by that already shot. This is just already guys here mostly, I think. Already playing with itself. 
Already shooting at Artie. Instead of turning your cannon here into this and laying canister into it, which is what you should be doing right now. We have the charge coming up. Just an element of it. I think it's just 27th. I'm gonna do a little arty raid. Um, which is fine. Not a, not a bad little maneuver here at all. Some nice tickets. But again, what do you do with this now? HD, what are you gonna do now? You're freed up here. Go to the point. Now you're gonna go up the goddamn hill. The Union is completely stuck in this corner here. You have a beeline to the point. Go to it. Now, again, the CSA is doing a good job of sticking up. And, uh, these, I mean, these units should still be rotating, to be honest with you. MWB. Uh, but it, it, but then again, it, they're, they're facing a pretty strong force here with the 1st VA Take and CQB. Down that line. So, you can't just maneuver aim. out. Cut the grass, cut you're going to get, you're get nailed by these guys, so. Steady, steady. I can understand Fire. them not maneuvering. Load. And you got second U.S. over here who might be able to maneuver, but uh, they kind of stuck out in the open as well. They're not really making any moves. So I am uh, not as impressed here. So many options. What are you doing? I mean, I got it. Maybe they're worried about a unit being in the corn, but you don't know until you go. If you're that worried about it, send some scouts. Send two guys into the corn find out. Now on the other hand, I like this, if they, uh, so Hood has a beeline to A now if he decides to take it, and I would, I would be aggressive with this and just keep, just keep moving forward here. If the CSA is going to stick on this hill, go up and cap A. Go and take in the same route they did. It's risky, you never know what's in the woods, but, um, again, he's got a beeline right now. And again, they're still fighting over this hill position here, and not taking advantage. Hood is on the way. He's heading there. Now, I will say these guys are keeping good pressure on the center position at the very least. So, I mean, this is working out okay right now. And I, I don't think they have enough combat power to really push anywhere beyond that. So, just kind of maintaining these guys, fixing them here is not a bad thing. By the way, when you say fix, so tactical term here, it means to... By your action, maintain an enemy in a certain position to allow you to conduct further maneuvers. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so these guys are stuck here. They can't really move off. You're not really killing them, but they can't also move off here. So what does that allow? Well, that allows another maneuver element, i.e. 42nd, to get back behind the line. And if 1st uh, VA moves, they're going to get nailed going back here, and they're going to lose this position. So they are fixed in this location. So when we say a fixing operation, or somebody is fixed, that is what we're talking about. Ah. Who's we? I don't know. No one get that over there. I gotta do everything myself. Shoot that guy! I know he's got blue paint. Lord, we need some target practice. And again, no move. Good C point, even though it's wide open. All right, and look.
looks like Hood is getting up towards A point now. And there's a few defenders back here at SR, but they there's no way SR can the flag. defeat uh, oh. these guys here. Down. Does Hood have a flag with him? Line here, 40 second, line here, north. He does. This could be devastating for the CSA. Yeah, we we sh we Great should on just then. Take anybody missed. Great fucking job, boys. Oh, Rambo, Bob. Rambo uh, behind you guys. <laughs> He's dead. Here, got him. Got him. All right, all right I got the boy. Yeah, and these guys are still stuck on this hill, not really engaging on anything. Hell, this unit has a... Who, who, is, who is this? TV, disco, you gotta... Don't go to that fight, go to the corn. But Hood is going to uh, cap that point, secure it, and the Union is going to be able to have two points capped here. We will see the uh, results of this. And it's going to lead to a lot of attrition here for the CSA. Now, they've started to pull back here. Now, the difficulty with this is, I, I mean, I still probably do this, um, but keep in mind, now you've got to um, disengage from this fight, give your back to the enemy, and redeploy all the way back here to retake this point, and then turn all the way around to re-engage and maybe eventually take C point. All the while you're taking degradation because you got two points down and even when you take it back, you know, it's you've lost all that time and it's gonna be much harder for you to catch up. So uh, there's two angles of attack here developing. Um so we'll see how forty second can handle this. It's like HL is coming up with this first attack under Mr. Gene. Hey, hold behind Victory Hill, get your kids. Hold here. Hold here on the road. Oh, he doesn't have his kits. And Hood is coming up in a very aggressive move here. And catching HL with their pants down. We could talk about No mercy. I don't know why I shot. That was my fault. I'm I take responsibility. And back they go. Now Hood's gotta be careful. You got another element coming up here that might be able to take the point as well, so. Uh, HL has been pushed back. They were not expecting that. And the entire CSA team has completely disengaged first. BA has as well. That frees up. Oh, yep, here we go. Good awareness here by 79th and 2nd US. They are going to uh, push back the Union Army here and take this position for some nice tickets as well. I can't believe MWB should be moving up as well right now. I don't know why they're staying back here. They should be going up here to help their allies up here and take this secure this already position. I guess they didn't need it. I guess they took it anyway. Still, MWB should be moving up at the very least, maybe to support 42nd up here. But again, now this, this buys plenty of time to reset up those defenses, hold on to C point. Or not left. Random on, on, on our right. Left, 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 random, random, random. Shit, they got a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Line in the woods. Behind us, behind us. Guys here, stay in, in line. The woods, in the woods. Right stay in line. Stay in line. Well, please. And, uh, far. Now again, they should be getting help right now. Where is MWB? They have not moved up yet. Not good. Not good, MWB. I don't care if you got orders to hold this hill. Should be coming up here to aid 42nd. At least release some of the pressure. But um, they have been wiped out to a man, so now CSA will retake B point. Sorry, A point here. You should definitely be moving up. Okay, now they're moving up to the Yardy position at least. So, you know, once you take that already position, I would even, you know, okay, do I want to take the uh, snake fence over here? Get an advanced position and really delay them. Again, I'd also transfer the already. 
Party should be coming up here and taking over these cannons and turning these guns on them. And make it a fight out in the, you know, maybe not all of you already, but send at least one crew out there. Now, I could also see you wanting to hold this position here. It's kind of a strong point. Um, but again, the danger with holding the strong point, though, is, you know, them coming up the middle here. But now that you've taken this, like if you split, you know, have one already gun and a couple units holding this strong point, and some more holding this strong point, it is very hard to attack. So the enemy has retaken A point after 40 seconds took it. So yeah, see, good job here by Willie Stone moving up. Um, yeah, I'd still come up to like here. He's got some decent ground, you got decent coverage. That might be what he's thinking up. Might just be wanting to get the lay of the land. But yeah, you can catch these guys as they're moving up here. Look how much open ground they got to cover to get to you. And again, if it gets too dicey, you just fall back. Now we're at 22 minutes. CSA is uh, well behind the Union. Maybe about by a half, I would say. So yeah, good job here. Kind of adjusting. Yeah, just keep them at this distance here. And if you had that already, you could start, you know, sending rounds down in here. But the already head needs to be aware and not just get sucked into there. Oh, what do I do now? I got no one to shoot at. I can't counter batter anymore. Come up to where you were counter battering and you've captured the, you know, you have you have binos. You can see that you've taken this position. You die. You just spawn back over there. Independent fire. Think of, uh, you, know, you guys probably watched Gettysburg, you know, this week out of the MR. Remember what what, what uh, General Hood wanted to do? He wanted to take... Why did he want to take Big Round Top? Why, why did he want to take it? Why did he want to go to the right? Yeah. Should have let me go to the right! Why? Why did he want to go to the right? Because he wanted to put a battery up there and readjust so he had a better position for his army to actually shoot down into the Union line. But to take a position to position guns, that was the whole purpose of him wanting to go around to the right. He wanted to put a battery up there to have a Right, better position to shoot at the enemy. What can you do? Well, now you have a better position to shoot at the enemy. You've taken it. Move a, move a crew up. Move even two. Nah, we're just going to stay back there. Alright. Yeah, we had nothing to shoot at. All right. It's okay, I understand. Here comes Ninth oh, Corps. See, now Ninth Corps got a little caught out here. East, east, Ninth Corps, not to the east. Now you guys are. See, this this is not a good route. You can see why, because you you are now you have enemy coming shooting from this angle and enemy shooting from this angle, and you're caught out in the open. This is not a good angle of uh, advance here. And oh, by the way, we've got nothing. Nobody securing this side here. So now the CSA already is going to come back here. You could have stationed a unit over here, maybe like a Ninth Corps. Yeah, but this is unsustainable. This needs to go fall back. Continue with it. Ah, now look at them going across all that open ground with no opposition. Now, by the way, the CSA, we'll see if they do it, and I think they are. So here's uh, Mr. Glow. Nothing. Straight to C. Nothing to stop you. 
Let's make a beeline for it. Now, again, uh, the Union, I like. Okay, who is this over here? All right, 20th Georgia. They can make a beeline for that point. But uh, they stop here, and they're like, oh, I want to shoot these guys. No, 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 no. Just keep going. Get all this mess. Don't worry about it. Just go straight to A point. Now, who's this over here? Yeah, so Parker needs to disengage from this and deal with that. You got to leave this to this element that's over here. And in fact, I would fall back. This, this entire Union attack is kind of collapsing. They got too far out without good cover positions. And the entire defensive position is kind of falling apart here. Tombo Good job. First VA. We'll see if they keep going. Get off this fucking log. Right here to my right. On my left. Dress it. Good job by 20 George. They're heading for the 8th one. HD also has the option to uh, knock out the Union already if they want to now. All right, let's see. Was this Parker? It was. Good job, Mr. Parker. He has disrupted the attack. Ah, there's another ta tactical task. Disrupt. That is to impede the tactical task of another unit. Doesn't mean destroy them. Doesn't mean take position. It is just disrupting whatever thing they are trying to do. In this case, they were trying to make an advance C point, but they have been disrupted from that task by Mr. Parker. They have conducted a withdrawal. Why are you making up these words, Kotel? I don't know, voice in my head. Oh, look at uh, North West Virginia here doing a good little job. So it wasn't 20th. 20th got stopped here. Um by these units here, which actually is delaying them a little bit. There's another tactical task. Delay to, uh... You're basically, what delay is what it sounds like. You're, you're, you're not impeding them, you're not disrupting them, but you're just making it take longer for them to do whatever task they're doing. And good job by Mr. Lightburn. Now the Union has had time there. Ah, they're pushing up again. Again, I'm not opposed to it, but... So when you're pushing up, the first position you need to have secure is that hill. Second position is this hill here. Once you have these two anchor points, you can move up and secure this forward fence line over here. Now, the danger is they could still bypass you through the woods. But, um, you know, if you were to do a forward defense, that's where you put it. Again, the great vulnerability, though, is coming through... That avenue of advance through the woods. Job my light burn. He's not sticking around. He got out of there. He's kind of lurking though, waiting for another opportunity to decap. Joe is going to recap, but again, now they're almost a full round state behind. They had plenty of opportunities early on. Again, first VA was making a move, but they got they got uh, knocked back by Mr. Parker here. Ready. Crouch, kneel, kneel. Crouch, down. Uh, crouch. Get down, crouch. We're invisible, we're invisible. Crouch down, crouch down. Take Rise up. Like this assignment says here. Ah, uh, so now we have Fort Georgia. Now that um, Six New York is kind of engaging with these guys over here, they may have given an opening for Fort Georgia. We'll see if they can do it. Now uh, there's a few Union. Uh, Guards over there. Uh, we'll see. 
Is not cool coming up with another attack here on the Mr. Prudent. Extend left, extend left, extend left. You need to get away from me. One per valley, extend left. Get away from They just fired us. We've got HL versus 42nd along with HD. I wasn't loaded, bro. Oh. Got a full morale state behind for the CSA. They're in a lot of trouble right now. And they are going to fall back, which against the 42nd I think is the right call. So you see Fort Georgia tried to uh, infiltrate back here, but they got stopped. Not only by the guards, but also by NYV, Mr. Parker. And you've got MWB now, Willie Stone is rotating back out as that guard on that far flank. some of them. I guess another group over here. CSA is really on the back foot on this map right now. And you got uh, Ninth Corps kind of as a guard down this uh, what's it called? Let's wrap it in. Oh god, what's it called? See all these terms. Doctrine. You're losing it. You don't use it. You lose it. High-speed avenue of approach. Fucking got it! What's a high-speed avenue of approach? It's an avenue of approach that you can move at a high speed. There you go. Using, definitely defining it with the same words used in its uh, title. There we go. I want to see hot barrels, boys. All that money you Make paid for education. Hot barrels dot What? <laughs> <laughs> We ain't got no oh, oh, boy. Keep firing, boys. And CSA is now at taking losses. Eleven minutes remaining. Oh, this could be a deadly attack here, Ninth Corps. As detached and is going to attack this arty position again. I would some gunners up here, guys. Even just one crew. Hit him again. Zoo, 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 hit him again. Come here. Come here. Come here. That was our friendly arty. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Hey, Ruby. Kill the flag, 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 kill that flag! You there, put that down! Thank you! See, Henkel is a very polite individual. He ain't kill you, but he's gonna do so, you know. As a gentleman. This attack by NWB is a little bit too, uh, this is not gonna work out for them. Hold him off! Tell these men! Hold him off, hold him off, hold him off! Oh, well, maybe it will with that already coming in. Get off my guy! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, it actually worked out. Oh, uh, maybe. We'll see. They gotta get their friendly flag up. And they took it. Is still light burning in the back there? It looks like it. Yep. Alright. Now we 
if I was a CSA, you know, the Union's kind of all spread out here. Now, is, you know, if you want to make the attack again through this route here, assuming if they're going to be all spread out over here, you might be able to come up here. Now, what you got to do, though, is you you run through the arty, and then you make a beeline for C. None of this fighting over here on this, this position here. You got you to gotta get out and, out and over. Ships passing in the night. Yeah, trying to start going around towards the point right now. Shit. Fucking full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. We are still going north, boys. Doesn't no mean low steam ahead. Are we going for oh, it? Oh, I got the black guy, boys. Hey, at least you got a pretty stick. All I got is his knife. We're heading south, boys. Heading south. They split here, which probably was a bad idea. I'll I'll I'll, I, don't, I don't have much luck with this sword. Hey, buddy, my guy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hey guys, what's up? Got the stupid car. Let's run through it. Hey, what's my door? Slow down, I'm trying to kill you, man. Stay on the wheel. Come on back. I want to stab you. Come here. You have. Couple guys over here, but not too many. Up and over, HL. Up and over. Yeah, this is where Knight could have come in handy. He could have been at delaying action here and held this position at a strong point while Wilkes went into decap, but since he turned around, um, I mean, there is a force over at A point, it looks like, but I, I can't believe they can't deal with it. Not with these forces I'm seeing here. Good shot. Keep shooting to the left of the It's 4th West Virginia and 20th Georgia, and the units back here couldn't deal with it? Okay. Yeah, you see Wilkes, he made it there, but... He's getting nailed from behind. Knight was with him. He could have dealt with this. Giving Knight enough to give him Wilkes enough time to get it down. Get that motherfucker! Alright, so they wiped out that element here. It's gonna be two big wins for the Union tonight on this conquest. Oh, I got him. Uh, 
this line, this new, this line, this line, this line. I like seeing SR this big again. I think I mentioned that before. It's good seeing him be this size. So, and fire at will. It actually, you know, we say, oh, bonsai charge, we'll, we do that. So right now, if you can get them down to uh, taking losses without going down to breaking yourself, you do, you are at a tie. So, you know, doing a desperate attack at this point um, is not as, you know, as like, oh, we're just going to, you know, end the game. There's actually some logic to a full attack right now as the CSA and trying to get them down. The Union should be playing very conservative as well. I think these guys out here are being a little bit too aggressive. They are in danger. Like this attack here, I do. Oh, it's working out pretty well, so maybe not. I think the attack would work this well, but this is, uh, yeah, working really well, so never mind. Hey, it's okay. I decided, never mind, Parker. I was going to say you did wrong, but no, nah, I think you did right. You suck. We only have 20 seconds, let's Hold just go. Who the fuck did that? Still spacing, shoot him. One shot. Go for the full motion volley, boys. That is how it ends. Another decisive win by the Union. So you say you had opportunities, didn't that take care of them? You got too, you know, too uh, obsessed with that fight in front of you. It's all about the points. It's all about the points. Union understood that. CSA did not. Not enough to, uh, not enough to the extent. You know, Wilkes had the idea of first VA man move, but really they never put pressure on C, and there were plenty of holes in the Union defense where you could have done so. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, hope you all have a good weekend, and I'll see you all next time.